Good morning. I Rapstein of Linden Associates with your morning flash update for this Tuesday, the 15th of December, halfway through the month already, 2020 at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. You know, the amazing thing to me is we look at all the COVID headlines and yet the stock markets go up. The dollar has been down, and that's one of the favorite trades, apparently, for traders going into 2021. Another favorite that I keep reading about is going to be uh, not in treasuries, but into the stock markets. Now, remember, this is a week that is loaded with central bank announcements, including our own, which began its first of two days uh, today in their meeting. Uh, we had some good news this morning before I get to all the chart action. The FDA said that the Moderna vaccine is safe and effective. It now moves to the committee vote and it could be approved before the weekends. The nice part about the Moderna, it doesn't need that cold refrigeration. So this allows it to go out into the country and other areas as well. Very good news for us. The New York Fed Empire uh, State Manufacturing Survey up uh, 4.9, but they were looking for an up six, and that's still under where it was before. The employment index is up. The new orders index, uh, prior month was up 3.6, up point, yeah, and we're 3.4. You're down a bit in the price received, up in the prices paid, inventories. Another negative number. I like that. Uh, let's burn through inventories and the shipment index. I, I thought this was a misprint when I saw it up 12.1. So we're really putting the product out there. Import export prices. Okay, so we imported a tenth of an increase and we're exporting six tenths of an increase. I don't think that's so bad. The Red Book sales were down 2.2% for the first two weeks of December. Uh, I don't know that that matters that much. We'll see where it all is going to go. Remember, we had that surge right after Thanksgiving of Christmas shopping, Cyber Week. So this doesn't bother me that much. It'll pick up probably just before Christmas. The Federal Reserve U.S. Industrial Production and Capacity Utilization numbers. So the industrial production, about where expected. The utilization, about where expected. They uh, did some changes to October, and the production number was down two tenths from where they said, but up two tenths in the utilization. And as I said, the Fed, well, they're going to wrap up their meeting. So we get a lot of banks coming out this week. That's the first thing. Obviously, as I told you, the, the two camps that are at Treasuries, one camp thinks the Fed will do nothing right now. The other thinks the Fed is going to be looking at the COVID surges, not only in the U.S., but everywhere, and saying it's coming here, maybe we act proactively. Those are the two camps. The majority thinks that nothing will happen right now. Grains are sort of waffling right here. And it, it just amazes me how strong energy prices are. For those of you that get my full research report, which I'll put out for you at 11.30 this morning, I've already done the write-up on the... Uh, what the IEA and the EIA are talking about for their projections. I am telling you, they're talking reductions in demand, yet you look at this market and you just see the big move to the upside. It's been relentless, almost like the stock market. The stock market it can look at anything it wants with the headlines of COVID, but what it says is, hey, six months from now, we're in a different world and you keep getting your bids. I'm impressed that today, all of a sudden, we see that the silver market has come alive over the gold market uh, to a degree. They're both up about $2,000 plus. Uh, the copper market, no surprise, back into that 350 level that I've talked about so often. I like the long side still of the euro, looking at some of the other currencies as well. I issued to my update people special updates this morning as we were talking about what I think is going on. Now, as you know, I have a Cyber Week special that ends this weekend. It's going to end, I think, Friday is when it's over. So if you've been thinking you'd like to get my charting course, I'm offering it for free with any one-year subscription to any of my research products. In the morning, as you know, at 540 in the morning approximately, I start recording and tell you what's going on in Europe, Asia and bring it all back to America. Actually, the right sequence is Asia, Europe, and back here. Uh, I will cover short-term, longer-term charts. And believe me, I'm not bashful. I'll throw out a lot of trade ideas for you. Buy here, sell there exactly as I see them with stop orders, 
with ideas that if it's not a straight stop to be out on a close under a certain average and why I'm looking for markets to move. I cover in this sequence and right in that way all these markets and they'll be on our website there's a scroll bar that you pull and let's assume that you just wanted to know the metals. You can go in and just look at those. Time I know is important. My average video in the morning is 20 two minutes, 23 minutes long, the average one. So you know I'm covering a lot of market and a lot of detail there. How do you get this? Well, you're always invited to try. You won't get the, um, at, at this price, you're not gonna get the charting course, but you can buy the charting course later. Right now, $7.95 for the first 30 days, as you can see, and then after that, $15 for each 30, a one year, $13 a month, you pay it up front, you're getting 26 videos at a time. I mean, 